Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Modern Warfare 2 gear up video. In today's video, we're going to be building the Advanced Armament Corporation's Honey Badger. This gun is actually not, it doesn't really need a conversion in the game. The way that it comes is actually how the gun comes in real life. And I wanted to show you guys my build for multiplayer and Warzone. So first we're going to start off with multiplayer. But I do want to let you guys know that this gun is absolutely a shredder. Especially in Warzone. Close to medium ranges, this gun is absolutely amazing. Not only that, but it's super lightweight. Uh, the only issue is, of course, it's shooting that uh, subsonic 300 blackout. So you're looking at very bad long range uh, hit markers, basically. You're going to get a lot of them. But close to medium range, once again, this thing shreds. So let's get right into the build here. Starting off with the flashlight, we're going with the EXF Solar Flare. No tune for this one, so moving on to the optics here, we're looking at a T1 to T2. Um, in the game it's called an AMOP V4. The tune for this is as follows. So just copy the one on screen here. Moving down to the rear grip, we're looking at the Bruin Flash Grip, which again has this tune right here. That's for the best stats for that attachment. And then moving along to the underbarrel, we're looking at the Bruin Warrior Grip. and. The tune for that is as follows. Now I didn't touch the uh, the left side there with the weight. I didn't really see the need to. But if you guys want to go for more hip fire walking speed, definitely go for it. Uh, but I'd rather keep it in the middle there. So that's it. Uh, four attachments. Four out of five. Now, if you guys want an extra attachment, I highly recommend. If you guys don't want to ruin the actual look of the honey badger and the whole purpose of it being a PDW. You can either A, go for ammunition, or B, go for magazine. Magazine is great if you extend it to a 45 round mag. It's going to do you wonders. It's not that heavy. But if you also want to increase target flinch um, for whoever you're shooting, definitely do so. However, I do warn you guys, if you guys use this round, you guys will have a lot more recoil. I think this is perfect though, so let's go ahead and hop into firing range. I'll show you guys the animation, and I'll let you guys listen to the gun as always. Here we go. Alright, so, let's go ahead and test the damage range for headshots while being mounted. So let's go ahead and mount at our little table here that we always do. Let's put this thing in semi, make sure that we don't accidentally go full auto on them, and let's hit them. Two shots, that's at 10 meters. 25 meters, you're looking at three shots to the head, and 50 meters. Three shots to the head. So it's still a very powerful round in the game. While it's it is subsonic and technically it should not be as strong as a 556, um, it still is pretty damn strong. It's basically M4 level here. So it's very effective. But let's go ahead and jump out of this one here. Usually don't do this for any video, but I decided to make a, another build for you guys, which I use in Warzone. So, you know, I use Orion for this one. But let's go ahead and jump into the shooting range here and I'll, I will let you guys listen to this again, same animations and everything, but with the camo on, I thought I might as well let you guys listen to it, so here you go, enjoy. Alright, so let's go ahead and test out the range for this. Go ahead and put it this in semi as well. Two. Two. Three. 
So in Warzone, this thing is super, super effective. Like I said, absolutely a shredder in close to medium ranges. If you guys want to try this out, definitely let me know. I definitely just copy the class here. Let's go ahead and go back to the class setup. Let's go ahead and I'll take you guys through all, each attachment once again. So, starting with the muzzle, we're going to go with the Sacken Tread 40. The tune for that is as follows. So just copy everything on screen. Moving on to the barrel, we're going with the 10-inch SA Phoenix barrel. And that is the tune for that one. Moving on to the optics. Optics are completely optional if you guys want. I actually ran this gun without an optic before. If you guys want more recoil control, you can go with an underbarrel. If you want more ADS speed, you can go with a laser. However, I went with an optic because I thought that it's way better. The iron sights aren't too, too great on this gun. They're good, but they're not too great. So I definitely recommend running a lightweight uh, red dot sight. So this one is the one I'm running with this specific tune. Moving down to the rear grip, we're running with the Bruin flash grip, just like the one in multiplayer. So again, uh, this is that perfect balance tune. And then a 45 round mag. You're gonna need that 45 round mag in Warzone, unfortunately, because you're, you know, dumping mags into at least one guy. So um, definitely run a bigger magazine. The only downside to this is in squads or trios, you're looking at a pretty. I would say this gun becomes decent rather than extremely good. Uh, in duos and solos, it's a beast. But in trios and squads, because of that 45 round mag. You're looking at some limitations, so definitely keep that one in mind. But yeah, that's it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the build. If you guys did, hit that like button, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Stay up to date with more gear up videos for Modern Warfare 2. I'm going to be trying to replicate more real-life firearms and maybe different game firearms as well, which are coming up in a couple more videos. Um, I do have an MV4 build, which if you guys don't know what that is, you'll find out later. But uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Thank you for watching, and peace out. Hope you enjoyed.